Hi, this is Chris Hewer at the Social Media Clubhouse, coming to you in the IBM Social Business Lounge here at South by Southwest. And you know, I've been talking a lot about this year's theme, intimacy, and the return to it. And a big part of that has been GroupMe. I'm very fortunate to be joined today by the co-founders, Steve and Jared. Thank you very much for stopping by, guys. Thanks for having us. So, um, interesting fact before we go. What happened yesterday? A little record? Oh, yeah. So we have uh, the GroupMe Grill set up here, where we're giving out free gr grilled cheese and beer. And we had Kobayashi, the uh, competitive eater, come by. And uh, first we had some, some people who were in a group uh, try to set the record, and that was four, set by Dave Tish, which was immediately broken. Four grilled cheese in one minute. In, oh, yeah, sorry, in one minute. And that was immediately broken by Kobayashi, who downed 13 grilled cheese. <laughs> in one now, it, Kobayashi has the grilled cheese eating champion, champion like record, and Dave Tish now has the world record for the fastest person to ever lose a world record. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes later. Yes, yeah, two yeah, minutes yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, one of the great things you guys did, I think, and we're going to talk more about the backstory here in a moment, yeah. but you said you created up a South by Southwest page, and anyone who created a group me for South yeah. by Southwest got an invite to your grill, right? Yeah, so th that's our featured group system, which we launched now, even Almost before exactly a year. Yeah, with the, with the featured groups we yeah. did with the brands. It was like a week after, right? Yep. So, um, so basically, when you create a group through that page, through South by Southwest, you're then connected to kind of South by Southwest. We can push down messages and enter you into contests and all that stuff. So that's how we let everyone know about Kobayashi yesterday. That's fantastic. Yeah. So um, tell me a little bit about the backstory. How did you guys get together? Where, 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 did, where did this start from? So Steve and I have known each other probably for over five years now. Uh, and we know each other through live music. Um, we've been friends for a while. We both had different companies that worked in the music space, and we loved following around two bands, um, one called the Disco Biscuits and another oh, called Fish. I love the Biscuits. You yeah. love the Biscuits? Of course I This do. just turned uh, into the best amazing. interview ever. Wait, wait, wait. Hold amazing. on. And the New Deal. Oh, and the New Deal. Oh, my amazing. God. Yeah, yeah. Cut. This, yeah. Is, this is incredible. <laughs> um, so, yes, we actually started off as Mindless Dribble Inc., which was a Disco Biscuits song. Um, yes. <laughs> nice. Yes, I know uh, that absolutely. song, of course. So, um, so we kind of met because we were doing a bunch of work with the Biscuits, actually. Fantastic. And GroupMe came to be because we would go to shows, we would go to live, live events, music festivals for a weekend with a group of friends, and we never had a great way to stay in touch with everybody. Um, so we just pretty much said, why can't we do reply all text messaging? Why can't we just group text? Solve it on the lowest common denominator. Very, very simple problem problem, something that would solve our immediate needs, one of your immediate needs, Absolutely. and that's where it all came to be. Fantastic. Yeah. And so what have you learned By the way, the, the grilled cheese is from, from fish, fish tour. tour. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grilled cheese is, so, yeah. Well, or, or peanut butter and jelly, that's depending right. on which part of the village you're in. Uh, <laughs> so um, what have you learned in the past year running it? You said you launched a featured group page. What else yeah. have you learned? I mean, we do learn a lot here at South by Southwest. Last year, the best thing is we get to talk to our users here, which is the, the best feedback loop you can get, basically. And I remember we put together a list of things that what users wanted at the end of last year. And it was things like they wanted to work internationally. Um, they want, there, was a, there was a nice list, and we like kind of tackled all of those within a year. And then we're back to learn again and say, uh, what, what do people want next? Fantastic. So this is actually um, an interesting form of social media. I mean, look, the phone is social media. Yeah. Cave paintings are social media to a degree. But um, what from social and Twitter and these other systems have you learned or learned not to do that you're now able to overcome? So one of the things that we've said ever since we started doing GroupMe was that we think that social media has made communication pretty sterile and self-expression pretty sterile because we live in this day and age of these big broadcast networks where it's you to the world, where you can't really say the things you want to say, share the things you want to share, post the pictures that you want to post because it matters what everybody else thinks about you. So you kind of feel prohibited by the fact that people may be judging you, people may criticize you, you might get in trouble, who knows. Uh, so one of the things that we always said we were doing and one of the things that we have done is take these networks and scope them down into something that's actually relevant for you. And something that we started to call real life network. But really what we've done is create a platform for keeping you connected with people who are important to you, people that you actually want to talk to and people that you feel comfortable telling a joke with sharing whatever you want to share with. And that's what GroupMe is really all about. We really think that privacy breeds like creativity and fun. And you know, you talk to some of our investors who would be very big t Twitter users, and then they would get in a group and they'd be talking, they're like, I haven't texted like this in forever, like I haven't, you know, because you kind of have to worry about being kind of out there and exposed. So that intimacy and that like being real sense of things is a huge part of GroupMe. That's fantastic. So I've been thinking about what you guys have been doing a lot because I'm using it quite a bit here. And I realize that it's not the social graph, but it seems to me to be the tribal graph. 
Interesting. That these are tribes that are actually connected together. Yeah. And I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on that and thinking about tribes. Well, your address book is such a cross section because really what we're doing is socializing the address book a bit more, which has kind of all of the aspects of your life, of your intimate contacts, the people you can text and buzz their phone and the people you can call at any time. And then the way you slice that up, I can see that being very much into like tribes, if you will. Uh, so Team Group Me, we probably have four or five iterations of Team Group Me just for this. And uh, I mean, it's the most fun. I don't know how we would do this without it anymore. Um, but I think that kind of makes sense. You know? Yeah. So um, this seems to be actually your breakout year. Um, <laughs> I would say that out of everything here, there's a lot of expectations from some of the ambient social networking stuff, um, but it drains your battery like crazy. And there's a lot of problems with that. I know a lot of people have signed up for some of those services and literally uninstalled them immediately. But because GroupMe works through text, everyone has yeah. it. It's accessible and it makes it it makes it way into our daily lives. So how does it feel to be kind of the breakout app now a little bit later than when you started? Um, so I think it's awesome that people are here using GroupMe. You know, last year we came down here, like Steve said, with the mission of really collecting as much feedback as possible. Uh, and one of the things that we got to see were a lot of people came down using GroupMe already, but we also got a lot of people onboarded on a GroupMe. And last year was this whole craziness around group messaging. And this year, it's just really nice to, we, we're here, we have the GroupMe grill. Everybody who's coming to the GroupMe grill is already in groups. So it's really fascinating to watch. Um, because last year was really, it was explosive for us. It was an incredible, incredible experience. And it, it really felt like we left with a great sense of, not necessarily accomplishment, but like, we're getting there, you know, we are on the way. And this year coming back and seeing everybody using GroupMe is something that's, it feels really good. I like that you're in four groups, you know, like those are the kind of stories we're getting from people and like, that's the best part. When people tell you, we were handing out ponchos, so we had 3,000 ponchos made for the rain. Nice. And uh, the best part was you would hand someone a poncho and they'd be like running to go inside. They're like, I love GroupMe, I'm in three groups, you know, like, and then they'd run and put their poncho on. So, I mean, hearing that from our users is the best part. Well, that's fantastic. And thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. This has been Chris Hewer for the Social Media Clubhouse.